Hi everyone and welcome to day two of the Authentic Global Collaboration course. Day one was uh, very exciting. Uh, my brain still hurts from all of the great discussions that went on. Uh, what I want to try to do with day two is um, start to get people talking a bit more, more about specific projects. When I had originally envisioned this course, I envisioned a lot more people that were new to global collaborative projects than are in this course. So we'll see how this day goes. Um, so I'll switch over to the Moodle and we can go over what the day will look like. So um, I thought it might be kind of fun to start the day by trying to do a what's outside your window activity. And uh, if you open up that resource, what I've done is I've started a Flickr account for this course. And I put the email address in there that you can use to email photos taken from your mobile devices up to our Flickr account. Um, we have people from all over the world in different time zones in different parts of different countries in this course. Um, even where I live in Nanaimo is different from Vancouver, just across the water. Uh, so uh, I thought it would be kind of neat if we could all take photos every day of something outside our window and upload them to the Flickr site. And if this works, I'll just embed a slideshow in the Moodle so we can all see what everyone else is looking at. The second resource is a framework uh, for considering global collaborative projects. Many of you have, might have looked at this already. It's been visible um, the, for the whole course. It's just a framework that Brad and I came up with to um, help us uh, think a little bit about different kinds of global collaborative projects because a lot of different projects get lumped in to this sort of um, description. So I offer up this framework for you to have a look at. Um, one thing that it doesn't uh, include, which uh, this is my reflection from the first day's um, conversations, it doesn't include anything about the projects um, actually doing anything positive in the community. And that's going to be our topic for Tuesday, so I'm quite excited about Tuesday. But it does give, um, give us a way to kind of um, separate out different kinds of projects. And then I've also put up a resource um, underneath it where I've just put about five or six links to places to find different global collaborative projects. So um, my hope for the tasks for the day, I came up with a number of different tasks. I put them all in one resource. And um, so the basic consumption task would just be to read my framework if you desire, if you want to, um, and spend some time visiting some of the different projects. Um, one thing I haven't put in there yet is links to all of the great um, global collaboration conference sessions that happened this fall. I might try and do that tonight, otherwise maybe somebody else can find it for me. I know there's people in this course that know about that conference. And I thought what might be interesting would be uh, for us all to pick um, a project that we haven't tried before, we think is interesting, and sort of discussion thread, sort of telling everyone why we think it's interesting and why we think it might be authentic. And then the next step, of course, would be to respond to each other's um, ideas and help us to um, expand on them a bit. The big exciting thing that's going to happen today is the 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time Blackboard Collaborate session with Julie Lindsay. I really hope that everybody can join us for that. Um, Julie's uh, got a lot of fantastic things to say, and she's very excited about talking to us. So... Hopefully uh, a lot of you can be in there. And um, the other task I put in here that I thought uh, could be useful to some of us is I have um, they started a Deagle group for this course, and I've been saving, uh, I've probably saved about 50, so 50 or 60 resources to it already. Um, and I thought that if we found projects we really liked and we would save them to our Deagle group with some comments, that might be useful for people. I've also started a discussion about the Digo um, group uh, in today's discussions. And finally, if you really want to uh, collaborate and up your collaboration skills, um, I thought it might be kind of interesting if we could um, get some examples of projects in those different categories on the wiki. So that's about it for today. Um, I've left the discussion fairly wide open, so please feel free to add your own um, discussions and um, I'll see you in the Moodle.